Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to blend in fine hair extensions with thick coarse hair. This is great for those who just received a set of hair extensions for Christmas and for those who are just curious how it works. Keep on watching to see how it's done. First off, spray heat protectant all over your hair because we will be using hot tools. Brush your hair to distribute the product and give it a few minutes to dry. Just a note, my model's hair isn't damaged, it's actually coarse so there is a difference. For the first part, you want to divide your hair at the middle of your ears and then pin it up with a butterfly clip. The part should be one inch or less from the bottom of your hairline. Now this part is very important, especially if you have hair like hers. You want to get your favorite flat iron and as you're ironing your hair, just flip the ends inward. This way, the end of your real hair won't be sticking out of the hair extensions. So the hair extensions I'm using look like this. They are actually clip-in extensions which you can push in and out to clip onto your hair. At the bottom, I'm going to use the 6 inch weft. Align it where the part is and then wiggle it in and push. Now if you have thin hair, you might want to tease this area before applying the hair extensions. That way the clip will have a nice grip on the hair and it won't slide down throughout the day. I didn't tease my model's hair because it's very coarse and the teeth of the clip actually grip a lot of the hair so it's very secure. Alright, so now release some more hair down and create another part that's about 1 centimeter above the last part. Strain this layer of hair without interfering with the bottom layer of extensions. Grab another 6 inch weft and apply this as close to the part as possible. I like to start in the middle and work my way out. For the third part, divide the hair above the ears. Then you want to continue and do the same thing you've been doing earlier, just straighten your hair. Then you're going to grab the widest piece, which is 8 inches, and you're going to apply this right from ear to ear. Now if you don't have much hair to work with, then you can stop here, but because she has a ton of hair left on top, I'm going to apply another large 8 inch weft so that the hair extensions can blend in more naturally. So this is the last weft that we will be applying to the back of the head and as you can see it isn't really high, you want it just below the crown of your head. This way you are left with a good amount of hair to cover the hair extensions. Strain the rest of your hair and make sure that everything is well blended. To even out the hair length at the front, you want to apply a 3 inch weft right on the side. Then apply two 1 inch wefts around the same area. Because the extensions are 100% Remy hair, you can strain them together with your natural hair. Here are the results! In this video, my model is wearing 18 inch extensions in the off black color. Surprisingly, I didn't trim or layer these extensions and they look very natural. Anyways, I hope you found this useful for whichever hair extensions you choose to invest in. Subscribe for more hair tips! Bye!